messages. And so the phone on the left is actually running uh, essentially the end user update that'll actually go out. And if I click, I'm going to try to do this as. Do you want me to do it at the same time? Okay. Let's see if I click them both. You'll see um, the performance. And this is a really common game. It's Bejeweled. If yeah. People mm -hmm. play it. I'm totally addicted to it. Um, so what did you do to get the performance improvements? Uh, there's Don't a number say secret sauce. You're not allowed to say secret sauce. Well, <laughs> totally comfortable saying secret sauce with you, by the way. Um, there's a number of things we actually did to, yeah. to improve it. The, the number one thing is actually change how we actually manage memory. Um, and so the nice part about that is essentially every single app, without having to do anything differently, will actually benefit from uh, the performance improvement. So how did you manage memory before but versus how you're doing it now? Well, it was really a function of like how much we would allow you to preload in a serial or non-serialized way. So, in term, so the, the apps that are going to uh, benefit the most are going to be apps that preload a lot of graphics. Right. So, now preload before you're tapping, or before or like the menu. Oh yeah. Tap. So like if if you look at. Oh, I understand. So yeah. So by the time you hit it, it's preloading. What Bejeweled, a why okay. Bejeweled's is such a good example is they're actually loading all the game pieces and game boards into memory. Okay. Right. And so when we open up that that threshold, essentially. Yeah. More of that can happen. Okay. Uh, so, so it's not necessarily the latency to app start; it's the latency to playable. App. We don't actually have any challenges with yeah. the app start. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really getting memory moving, and then there's a lot of apps that don't benefit at all, um, primarily because you know the graphic component isn't a huge one. Like Flickster is a really good example where, you know, it's mostly pulling data from the web. Yeah. And so the app loads reasonably well. While there's a small performance improvement, it's not noticeable. Yeah. You're still waiting for the app because it's the pipe that's the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but mostly the game, especially the XNA game. So what was the limitation before? You had a, a size limit on how much you could preload? Yeah, ba basic, well, at one given time. So we basically take chunks from you, yeah. and then we would try to load as much the, as possible, and we were waiting. Because remember, some of these are flash, and some yeah. of them so are SD. One more time. Is this uh, disk I/O related? Because some no. of them are flash and some of them are it's micro SD inside. In fact, we actually treat all the memory as a flat piece of memory. Yeah, it's yeah a it sounds like it's a it's a construct issue. It's with totally it. a construct yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah. And okay. so it was feedback we got from developers. We definitely heard it from early end users. Wow, that's way faster. Yeah. Oh, it's it's night and day. Like, but what uh, was the what was the initial motivation to, to limit it to whatever Oops. chunk size you had before? Was it a power efficiency thing? Like, what's the, what's the downside? I mean, the trade-off. Yeah. You know, I don't really know. I, th I think it was more of a question of, like, trying to think about how apps would need or want to load. Okay. And you do that in isolation initially when you're building a platform, right? Yeah. Like, you have a bunch of software developers thinking, well, if I wrote an app, yeah. how would I do it? And, and then I think you look at what actually takes place. Yeah. You know, and you know, operating system developers are quite different than game developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they think fundamentally differently. Yes, Especially game developers. You know, a lot of our game developers are coming from the console, and so they're used to very, very vast resources. Yeah. Um, and it's much harder to bring that to the phone and, and manage memory space and those types of things. Differently. So other than the memory management and copy paste, are there any other under the hood enhancements? Yeah, but I would I would probably put them more in the minor category. Okay. There, there's a lot of things that we saw based upon. You know, rolling the product out, yeah, and they yeah. were, in most cases. You know, I don't 